I just read an article and it had a study in it that said that 40% of Americans are more afraid of retirement than they are of death. This thing just blew my mind. And since this is the retirementality channel, I thought, hey, maybe this is an opportunity for me to change some people's mentality about retirement. Let's talk about what those fears are and let's see if maybe we can find some solutions to make people feel a little better about retirement. Shut up and sit down. I dug a little bit deeper and I just started researching what are the biggest fears people have around retirement. And these went from articles from five years ago to articles from one month ago. And what I came up with was about four recurring fears that people have based around retirement. The first one is the obviously the fear of running out of money. This is what we're all afraid of. This is what I see a lot of people with myself included in this category. You get stuck in the one more year syndrome. I'll just work one more year. I'll just get one more $10,000 of stocks. I'll just get one more house. I'll just get one more of this. And you just keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off because the fear of running out of money, like that's just like, if you just keep thinking a little bit more all the time, you're going to see a recurring theme here in my solutions to most of these four problems that I found. And it's what I talk about on this channel, investing in real estate. See, most people just try to save up to this magic number that they can live off and dwindle down until the day that they die. And nobody knows how long they're going to live, how much their retirement is going to cost, what health problems they're going to have. So this magic number just seems so elusive. So instead, if you could supplement that with maybe one or two rental properties, and you know you're making an extra 500, 1,000, 1,500, 3,000, depending on how many rental properties you have, you know you've always got that coming in. And maybe maybe you know you can't save up a million dollars and live off the 4% rule, which is still only $40,000. So my solution to the running out of money problem is if you have income sources coming in, I think the easiest way to do that is through investing in real estate. So look into no matter what age you're at, you can still buy a duplex or a triplex or a vacation rental. So look into getting some real estate to supplement and bring in income so that you know you're not going to run out of money. Number two is some unknown health problem, um, you know, that's going to be expensive and blah, blah, blah. Well, I, you can't be afraid of this your whole life because chances are you're going to have some health problems as you get older. They're going to be expensive. You know, having a job, what's ha why is having a job going to make this health problem any different? Probably you'll be less likely to have health problems if you get out of your stressful job earlier. So, you know, this, this is also tied in with health insurance. People fear losing. I'm going to put health insurance and health problems in the same sort of bucket here. So people are afraid of losing their health insurance. So, you know, the best way to combat fears is to research and find the answers. So go online, start looking at what your health options would be after retirement. Look at the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare. Call some private uh, health insurance companies. They'll be more than happy to give you a quote and get your email address and put you into their drip so that when you do retire, you're going to be getting information from them. So, you know, do a little bit of research, find out what it's actually going to cost you. You know, you're not going to be able to prevent everything. Put money into an HSA account. You know, you're probably putting money into a 401k or some sort of retirement account. Start putting money into those HSA accounts. If you're not familiar with those, do some research on them. They're a great tax um, haven for your money and it covers, it can cover you for health problems down the road. So look into those options. You know, you can't, it's health problems are just one of those things you can't be afraid of. Um, you can just arm yourself with as much knowledge as you can and try to put to bed as much of those fears as you can, but you're just going to have to prepare for them because more than likely you or your spouse is probably going to have some kind of problems in the future and just count on it. Number three that I found is a lot of people are afraid to leave their job, not because of money concerns or health concerns, but because of social concerns. You know, we work our whole lives. We have our identity wrapped around what our job was. And when you meet somebody, the first thing they say is, what do you do? I'm a realtor. I'm a electrician. You're not an electrician. You're not. And that's not what you are. It's what you do. So people need to unwrap the identity of their job from their identity of their person and start doing that now so that when people say, what do you do? You can say, my job is an electrician, not I'm an electrician. Get that identity off of you so that when you walk away from your job, you still have your own identity. And the other part of that, there's two other parts of that. One is boredom. People don't know what they're going to do. So you got to kind of look into the future and see what do I want my retirement to look like and craft your life around what you want it to look like. 
maybe you could start new hobbies, you know, work for a nonprofit, start a nonprofit, volunteer at the YMCA, whatever. But you got to figure out what you want your life to look like. And when you can actually visualize and see what you want to do in retirement, it makes it less scary to have those days open to do whatever you want. So I think a lot of people just are fear. They have a fear of boredom and a fear of a loss of identity and that they're going to have to make new friends because all their friends are at work. So these are some issues you can work through before you get to retirement. You know, you can join the remote control airplane club and start to make some new friends and some new activities that you can see yourself doing when you retire. And number four, big fear that people have is inflation. And a lot of these were articles I read from two, three years ago. So everybody's fear about inflation, guess what? It's coming true right now. If you are retired or you're about to retire, the inflation fear monster is just devouring all of your money. You know, stock market's going down, inflation's going up. So how do you prepare for inflation? Again, just like in my first example with real estate, real estate is an asset that goes up with inflation, rents go up with inflation. So as inflation is deteriorating your buying power, your cash, your stock market, possibly um, your bonds, whatever, actually bonds should be going up. And maybe the stock market a little bit too, just it's a little bit scarier because you don't have as much control over that. And if you had a little bit of real estate in your portfolio, then it's going to follow inflation. It's going to keep that income coming in. Rents are going to go up following inflation. So some real estate in your portfolio, again, can squash that fear of inflation in retirement. So there's my idea on how to, you know, limit the fears of, I think what people's four biggest fears about retirement are. And if you found any value in this, head over here and watch this video. This will show you how much money you actually need to retire. It's not the same video that everybody else does. It's about looking into the future and seeing what your retirement will actually cost you. So go check that out and give me a big like down there if you like this video. And hey, if you haven't subscribed, why not hit the subscribe button?